For today's adventure, you're going to need a power supply, a USB kind, a radar module, a USB cable for it, a relay, uh, 5 volts, um, some cables, a uh, TFT Raspberry Pi screen, a Raspberry Pi, and um, some soldering equipment and things like that. All right, to explain this mess right here, um, I've got this digital connected to this bat last one down here. I think it's 26, but I can check that later. And the 26 GPIO. And that goes to the control, and we've got power and ground. And so that's the control side of the relay. And on the other side, I have it set up to the normally closed. So normally this doesn't do anything. It just you know goes right through. But if I send a command through, it cuts the power, and then I can reactivate the power whenever I would need to. And the reason for that is because this uh, radar module is kind of grumpy and if you like stop talking to it for a second or two it'll turn off and then it just won't wake up again and so uh yeah you basically basically every time i start the code i tell this relay to turn off and on again again to reset the radar so i was hoping to try to do a uh, ground penetrating radar with this um this is a 24 gigahertz uh, frequency uh, scanner, I guess you call it. And typically you need a tenth of that frequency in order to do ground penetrating. You need like 800 megahertz to 2 gigahertz. But I figured, you know, I have this lying around. Let's check it out and see what we can do with this. So basically I do cron tab dash E and it opens this up. And at the bottom I just have at reboot export display so it'll actually show on the Raspberry Pi display and not try to do some sort of weird uh, invisible reboot thing. Um, and it'll basically launch this code, really launch this launcher, and um, it'll leave a log behind. Uh, the actual launcher is pretty simple. It sleeps for a bit, gives everything a chance to wake up, um, and then it makes sure it's in the home and then it uh, goes to this directory and it um, you know, basically starts up the, the script. So for the main script, uh, you know, we've got a bunch of imports. Um, all right, so the first thing it does is it finds that one switch on the board, I guess it's switch 40, uh, GPIO 40, um, and then activates and deactivates that one to make sure that the radar is ready. Then it sets up serial, so we can start listening to the messages from the radar. Um, I've got some interpolate. Um, basically, the radar gives you the highest points and like their distance and their magnitude, but we don't have that. We have you know like a regularly spaced plot, so we have to interpolate in between to get you know transform one data to the other. And we've got this function, which actually grabs the data, the radar data, um, and that it gets a little messy. Um, one, because excuse me, we have to um, basically parse the data correctly. It kind of comes in in a giant array mess. And then we have to turn it into like a clean array. And then two, we actually have to tell the radar that we are going to want uh, eight pieces of information. Give me that your top eight distances. And so, uh, yeah, that's what this part here does. So the radar uh, part is on a thread, and so we start that. And then um, here's where we configure like how big we want our screen, how many you know last data points we want to show on it. And then we have this uh, whole scroll mess for actually doing that scroll magic, and that's what this is. It kind of grabs the old data and kind of moves up around and. Uh, stacks it on top of the old data and kind of, you know, scrolls down to the next uh, point of data. So what kind of stuff can we do with this? Well, uh, right here I've got the screen and then I taped a sheet of aluminum foil to the wall on the other side. And if we put it above the wall, <clears throat> above the aluminum foil, 
we see that we get maybe a weak signal, but not much of a signal. And then if I lower it down a bit, we get much stronger signal. So I'm here in my basement. I've got a wall here that is uh, complete on one side, but not on the other side. And so uh, you'll have to forgive the noises in the background. I think that's the sump pump. Um, but either way, uh, here is a stud. And so we can see that where the stud's not at, we don't get much of a signal. And then as soon as I move it to where the stud's at, suddenly there's something there. So here I am freezing my butt off outdoors. You can see the frost on the ground. And uh, when I put it against the ground, I guess you see a little bit of a signal, but yeah, now it's just like completely gone. So it's almost like if it sees too much stuff, it uh, it stops re you know recording anything. And so yeah, it's not working great for ground penetration. So you can use this for lots of things. Uh, you can even use it to spy on your wife. Hey, it looks like something's coming closer. Hey! Ah! I want a divorce! You can't divorce me, I've got plot armor.